Hey guys, what's up? Let's do a video on the um, service engine zoom lights. Uh, and uh, this is a light that comes on frequently on my um, 2080 Nissan Altima. This light um, really isn't one of those things that's serious, I would say. I've read up on it and uh, pretty much it comes on when a couple of things are off. Uh, the O2 sensor having issues and stuff like that. And normally when I clear this light, I could clear it for quite a while. I mean, it, it, it'll stay off for maybe a couple of days. I've had it stayed off for like three to four days before it uh, comes comes back on again. And I'll clear it. Sometimes it'll come back on immediately. Sometimes uh, it will stay off for quite a while and then it comes back on and it's an irritating thing because um, I actually did change the O2 sensor in my car and I was hoping to get rid of this light because I really I mean it's it's not something that's a serious issue in fact um, I, I did a, uh, a check on it a code reader I have a code reader and uh, and this is what the code reader says. So, here's what the code reader says. Reads, is how it, what it reads. So, it reads, evaporative emission system leak uh, detected large leak. And uh, it's probably the O2 sensor that's, that's failed. But, there's two O2 sensors um, on this engine and and basically I changed one of them I don't know if it's the other one I don't know what the uh, real issue is of this um, and if you guys have ever gotten an O2 sensor there's like four different lines and they're four different colors and it'd be great if the O2 sensor the lines on the O2 sensors were the same colors you know those those wires were the same colors as the ones on your car but they're not but I read up on it and apparently um, you know you can figure out two of those lines and the other two you'd have to I don't know hook it up to a machine or whatever it's been a, it's been like a couple of months since I actually did it myself so I forgot how um, how how those lines connect to each other in, in terms of uniformity but here's what I've done so far. I've changed the gas cap, changed that up, and apparently it did nothing. I bought a get gas cap from Walmart, uh, changed it up, tried it out for a couple days, cleared the code, tried it out for a couple days, and, and came back on. So I returned the gas cap and I put the old gas cap in. So uh, a lot of times these issues is with, with, with the gas cap not sealing the um, I mean the rubber part the rubber part of the gas cap uh, deteriorating and not sealing the uh, the emissions uh, from the gas tank but uh, apparently that's not the case I changed the the O2 sensor I bought it from uh, eBay I bought one from eBay uh, and I swapped that out and that didn't change anything so um, for the last couple of months what I've been doing is I've been clearing the code when it comes on and and uh, pretty much been driving that way clearing the code whenever it comes on drive it for a couple of days have to clear it again sometimes it'll be off for an hour or two clear it again it's just a really frustrating thing um, if you guys know what's up with that um, let me know um, I'm pretty sure I hooked up the O2 sensor correctly and um, I'm, I'm still having this issue um, so I mean it, it might be an emissions leak um, in 
it might not be the sensor it, it might be a valve in the I know there's this mod, module this part I don't quite know where it is on this car but there is what is it an emissions filter or whatever and there's a valve on it uh, I might have to look into it and uh, see if that that's the issue um, that could also be uh, the issue but but it's not a serious problem it's not one of those problems that uh, as far as I know I haven't had any kind of uh, you know have the car not working on me or, or just stalling or whatever I mean the engine itself really I mean it, it sounds a little bit I don't know it sounds it, it sounds kind of I wouldn't say odd it sounds it sounds a little bit off but it's not I mean I've been driving this car this car has like 275,000 miles on it 274,000 or whatever and uh, I've been driving this car about without uh, any kind of issues uh, as far as this situation is concerned I mean I've had other issues with the starter going out on me with the alternate going out on me with the transmission breaking down where I had to swap it out but uh, as far as the starter and the alternator those things you gotta change anyway I've got 275,000 miles in the car so but as far as the transmission is concerned um, you guys see me do a couple of videos on the uh, CVT transmissions on this car but uh, I'm going off point here um, so this is my video on that um, service engine light service engine zoom light which is different from the other light which is um, the check engine light <clears throat> uh, normally the check engine light uh, uh, comes on when there's more, a lot more serious issues with the car and you probably should if that if that light comes on you probably should take it to the mechanic as soon as possible or just park the car and you know try to figure out what exactly is the issue um, because that's a serious uh, normally those those light that light comes on when there's a serious issue with the car but <clears throat> that's my video on the service engine light uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to clear it in my next video